hey guys i'm back with another video and for this video i'm going to be showing you how i prep my hair between protective styles so i just took a protective style out it was actually um some feed-in braids and then i'm going straight to another protective style because it's the summertime i'm trying to keep my hair up and out of the way so i start by pre pulling my hair with aloe vera treatment i actually did a video on this i'm gonna link it to this video so that you guys can actually see the full detailed way that i do it so i'm just rushing through this right now and i'll just link the video and then i put after i rub the leaves through my hair i actually have a mixture of oils it's actually olive oil almond oil jojoba oil and what's the fourth oil castor oil that's it and then I just rub that throughout my scalp and the ends of my hair just rub that for all the way from roots to ends of hair and I have a detailed video on that so you guys can check that out I'm gonna link it if you didn't get the full way I did it right there and then I just twist that section up and my hair is actually sectioned off into fours so I'm gonna do that for the rest of my hair Now once we're done rubbing the oil throughout all, throughout of our hair, <laughs> excuse me, we're going to put a bag on our head and then leave that on. I usually do it for like one to two hours or you can do it overnight. It's your preference. But after I leave that on for about two hours, I wash and condition my hair. And if you want, if you would like to see a wash and condition routine, my full wash day routine, routine let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I just rush through it. And then next, after washing and conditioning my hair, I do, um, what's this called? Apple cider vinegar rinse because I want to get, make sure I don't have any buildup on my scalp from the previous protective style that I had. I had it in for like a couple weeks and I've pre-pooed my hair, washed and conditioned it at this point. So I'm just, this is just like the last step just to make sure I got all of the build up and all of the dirt and anything out of my scalp i want to make sure going into my next protective style that i'm getting the maximum amount of growth that i can because that is my ultimate goal when getting a protective style is growth so i ran to a sink after this because it was getting everywhere so i recommend doing it over a sink but after rinsing that out i'm clipping my hair back off into four sections and then i'm going to work back in sections and I had previously, from detangling my hair in the shower, I had split one section into two twists. So I'm just putting them back into one section, basically. And I'm using my grapeseed growth and thickening oil and my almond butter moisturizer, both from the Shea Blade Naturals hair product line. I'll link that in the description bar below. And I'm just detangling my hair, making sure that I don't have any knots or anything because I'm going to let my hair air dry overnight. So that way I don't have to put any heat in it. So I'm just going to add some more of the almond butter moisturizer to the ends of my hair. And then I'm going to do the next thing, the next thing, the same thing with that um, second section of hair. Because I'm combining those two sections into one. And then I'm just going to put a um, rubber band around my hair. And I'm going to put it on not too tight that I'm pulling my hair but tight enough that it stays stretched out and it dries completely flat but first i just want to detangle my hair and make sure all the strands are in sync before i try to stretch my hair to this maximum potential what do i sound like <laughs> 
But I'm just wrapping my hair tie around my hair. And I'm getting it nice and snug until it can't wrap anymore. And then I'm just going to detangle my ends some more, making sure, like I said, they're all straight and together. And I'm just going to twist that section up. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other four sections of my hair. Once I get to the front two sections and I'm done twisting both of them, I'm just clipping each end and I'm stretching them as far as they can go to, so that my hair can be nice and stretched when it's dry in the morning. And I, that's the front and then that's the back. I did that already. And I just let that dry overnight. And then the next morning, your hair should be nice and dry. And my hair is pretty thick, so if mine can get dry by the morning, yours will be dry. So I'm just taking out my clips. And I'm going to unravel. I'm going to work on my front two sections first. Because I'm going to be doing a top knot for my protective style. So getting my hair in a pony, one ponytail is a struggle, so I have to do a half by half. And by stretching my hair like this overnight, it gets my hair very stretched and easy to work with for this style. And if you would like to see my full tutorial on how I got this style, be sure to check out the video. I'm going to link it right here. And this is the style I chose. I wanted a little bit of color in there, so I used this red hair. I really liked it. It was very different. Something I usually don't do, but I liked it anyways. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to watch my tutorial on how I got this bun. And watch my previous videos uploaded. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It should be a link on this page. And I'll see you guys on my next video.